Welcome back. Show your loved ones you care this Valentine's Day by taking time to make them a gift. The extra effort will not go unnoticed and you'll create something that your sweetheart will treasure long after the flowers wilt and the chocolates get eaten. Amy Latta is sharing some sentimental gift ideas in today's Getting Crafty. And we were just talking during the break. You kind of filled me in on this story. It's a great story, but these gift ideas were inspired by a true life love story. So talk to us about that. Yes, this is such a special story. My husband's grandma is 101 years old and wow. she stayed with us for two weeks in January and told us the full story of her love story, which I hadn't heard before. And, you know, it's just incredible. She lived in Syracuse, New York, mm -hmm. and her husband to be um, actually he was from Mississippi and he was sent to Syracuse to train as a pilot for World War II. Mm -hmm. And they met at a USO dance. She was a volunteer who was there to dance with the soldiers. And after one dance, um, her would-be husband, yeah. Tom, said, could you take your name tag off because I'd like you to be my dance partner forever. So that's how their love started. And she was. And she was. <laughs> she absolutely was. So he yeah. shipped out. He was a pilot um, throughout the war. And they sent, he sent her these love letters. And I actually have them here today. I'm um, so Incredible. sentimental, so meaningful. And, you know, they carried on this correspondence all during the war. He came home um, two weeks after he got home. They got married. Um, they had four sons. And, you know, it's just been a beautiful, lifelong love story. Just incredible. And uh, to preserve those, you know, it's a lost art, love letters, you know. And, and now yes. you're going to sort of use them here in what we're talking about today. The first craft uh, that you're going to show us is a 3D paper heart. Yes. Okay. So this is something, you know, that you can easily find on Pinterest. You can make it out of all kinds of things. But when we use something sentimental and meaningful, it's just that much of a better gift or Absolutely. piece of decor. So one of the things that you can use, obviously, is the love letters. Now, I would never, ever, ever want to cut these up. Right. But you can scan them. You can photograph them. And then you can use those for this craft. So yes. I have one that's made with love letters. Oh, yeah. I also used some sheet music that belonged to my husband's grandfather. Uh, he was a musician and of course you know they met at a dance and so music was very important to them so I used some of his sheet music as well to create some of these hearts that we can give to grandma as a Valentine's gift that's that's great so to do this all you do is you're gonna cut four hearts that are okay. exactly the same so what I do is I stack four pages together fold them in half and then I cut that heart shape uh -huh. then all you're gonna do is take some adhesive and you're gonna stick them together two and two. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you this dimensional effect. So you're gonna oh, yeah. have the two halves of your heart. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna take a hanger. It can be jute or string or twine. And you're gonna stick that in the center. And then you're just gonna attach the hearts together on either side of that hanger. Oh. Like so, it's so easy. I mean, yes. I did that in 30 seconds. Right. And you can add beads for extra decor if you like. Um, but you know, uh, from a favorite book page, a favorite sheet music, love letters, all of those things. And it just is so meaningful when yeah. it's something that belongs to you as a couple, and your it, first and dance it song. Or, your mm -hmm, love. I mean, exactly. That's, that's, it tells your love story. Um, all right. Next idea incorporates meaningful fabrics to make a memory heart. Yes. And this idea also came from Grandma and Grandpa <laughs> because okay. Grandma's dress here is yeah. made out of an army parachute. Oh, wow. So Grandpa sent her when the, the army switched from using silk parachutes to nylon parachutes toward the end of the war. Yeah. They knew they were engaged. He sent her a diamond from Australia while oh, he my. was out there, you know, and um, so he sent her this parachute and said, Barbara, have this made into your dress. And so yeah. she did. And it's absolutely stunning. And then my sister-in-law actually wore it at her wedding as well. Um, and so it's just this really sentimental thing that's, that's another part of their story. Yeah. Um, and so it got me thinking how, you know, so many of us have meaningful fabrics just sitting in boxes around our home. I have all of Noah's baby clothes. You know, you've got dish towel that belonged to grandma or you have grandpa's flannel shirt I have in my closet, yeah. you know? And so I thought, why not do something to get it out of the box, out of the closet so we can touch and feel it and have something memorable um, in our decor. And so all I did to create these, this one is made out of flannel. Um, I have some here. This one is out of a baby dress. This one is a dish towel. Mm -hmm. um, and all you do is you just cut out those two identical hearts, and then you're going to sew them together around the outside edges, leaving about a one-inch gap. 
put some stuffing in. I used poly pellets mm -hmm. because that makes it feel a little heavier, like a bean bag, yeah. so it has some weight to it. But you can stuff it with whatever you like. And then, you know, you're just gonna glue that bow on there as an accent if you want to. And then you can make this out of any fabric, you know, wedding dresses, prom dresses, you know, what you were wearing when your husband proposed or a, a necktie, anything. And it's just such a sweet and meaningful little gift. That's great. Amy, always great to talk with you. Thanks for sharing their story. Good stuff. Absolutely. And I got this printed for her as well at canvasprints.com as another gift to give with all of this. And I just absolutely love being able to have their wedding photo like that. Just so. some really, really good ideas. Yeah, so, thank and meaningful you. ones. Thanks so much. And stay with us. There's more Good Day PA coming up next.